State school budget crisis has many educators on edge with the threat of being fired and important school programs being cut. Tonight we look in depth. Why did the governor refuse billions of dollars that could have helped bail schools out? And how do we get into this major budget crisis in the first place? KXAN's Katina McHenry has some answers, all new at 5. This is where the crisis started gaining momentum, the economic decline. People stopped buying houses. The issue is, is that property values have declined. We've seen that locally, but we've seen it in the, at the state level. When that happens, it puts more pressure on state funds. And people stopped spending money. Sales tax collections have slowed. That really is the, the basis for the funding crisis we have. The other parts of it is they used a lot of one-time funding sources to fund the current budget. One-time funding sources like grants that are now spent, forcing the state to find money from somewhere else. We need to out-innovate, out-educate, and out-build the rest of the world. But in light of the president's State of the Union address, some say money that could be helping now was turned down. Governor Rick Perry had a chance to apply for billions of dollars in federal grant money as part of a program called Race to the Top. He refused. Some teacher union groups stood with him, saying the money had too many strings attached. There were... Uh, policies and, and uh, non-research based policies that were part of the application that we felt wouldn't be good for uh, the ed for education in Texas. Among other things, the grant required states to revamp a few things, like educational standards and testing programs. I think the governor's calculus was because we've s just separated ourselves from the rest of the country in these curriculum standards, we probably can't win race to the top, and I don't want to compete if I can't win. Uh, I think where we are financially, we should compete for every dollar we can compete for. There are some things you're going to have to do that you don't want to do, simply given the severity of the cuts that they're facing. In Austin, Katina McHenry, KXAN, Austin News.